Good morning, my beautiful children, and thank you again for tuning in to our third read aloud. Today, we're going to be having a special reading. I brought someone along with me to give you a clue about what the reading is going to be about. This is my pet fish, Goldie. She's actually red, but my students and I decided that we still wanted to call her Goldie. Do you have a pet at home? What's your pet's name? Really? Well, you make sure you give your pet a great big hello from the Glam Girl Reads. Today's reading is called Pet Show. Look at these children. They look very curious about what's going on behind this glass window. It says, well, the author is Ezra Jack Keats. Pet show. Everyone was talking about the pet show. The kids told each other about the pets that they will bring. Matt said that he will bring ants. I'm going to bring my mouse, bragged Roberto. What are you going to bring, Archie? The cat. Uh, uh, he said, Archie. The next day, they all got ready for the pet show. Where's the cat? Archie called. Anyone see the cat? Archie and Willie looked in the cat's favorite hangout, while Pete and Su Peter and Susie searched up and down the street. No cat. Hmm. Where do you think that cat is hiding? Archie's mother came to the window. Where can the cat be? He asked her. You know how independent he is, Archie. You never know when to expect him. But I expect him now. It's time for the pet show. Maybe he's inside somewhere. Archie ran into the building. After a while, he came to the window. I can't find him. I looked all over the place. You'll better start without me. Gee, we're sorry, Archie, said Peter. So long, said Susie. So the show sounds like it might start without him. I wonder how that makes him feel. They got to the entrance. A lot of people were already there. Just then, Roberto's mouse took off. Willie chased the mouse. Roberto chased Willie. Peter chased Roberto. Susie chased Peter. And the show started. Line up with your pets, please. The judges called. They walked up and down, looking carefully hmm, at every pet and asking, how old is your pet? And what's your pet's name? There's so many different pets there. Can you count how many people showed up? How many children showed up with pets? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What number comes after ten? Did you say eleven? You're right. Eleven. Everyone got a prize for something. There was the noisiest parrot and the handsomest frog and the friendliest fish. And the yellowest canary, the busiest ants, the brightest goldfish, the longest dog, the fastest mouse, the softest puppy, the slowest turtle, and many more. As the last prize was being awarded, someone shouted, Look! Here comes Archie! Ugh! Oh. 
That warms my heart that Archie was able to make the show. He made the pet show after all. Do you think he found the cat? Or do you think he got a new pet? Hello, you're just in time, said the judges. A judge said, what's in the bag? My pet. May I see it, please? At that moment, the cat showed up. Can you see the cat in these pictures? Is this the cat? Is that the cat? <gasps> There's the cat. The other judge called out a blue ribbon to the nice lady for the cat with the longest whiskers. <gasps> Is that Archie's cat? Did he deserve the award? Or was it the old lady's cat? Very interesting. Before anyone could say anything, he pinned a blue ribbon on the old woman and came back to Archie. Look at his face, he looks rather surprised. What kind of pet do you have in the jar? A, a, a germ, answers Archie, hmm, and what's your germ's name? Archie thought for a moment. Ow, he said. The judges whisper to each other. Do you know what it means to whisper? Can you whisper? A blue ribbon for Al, the quietest pet in the show, the judges announced. As everyone was leaving, the old woman came over to Archie. Uh, he's really your cat, isn't he? She said. You should have the ribbon. It's okay. Archie said. You keep it. And he ran to join his friends. That was very nice of him. It was a very kind gesture. Did you do something kind today? What did you do that was kind? I'm so happy you're being kind to your family and your friends. Let's see what happens at the end. They passed the old lady on their way home. Thank you for the ribbon, she called. Archie smiled. It looks good on you. See you around. See you around, she said. The end, and when the story's over and when you reach the end, you live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bomb, bomb, bubbly bump. La 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 la. See you tomorrow.